Hey there, Sister Cerise here. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Well, Brittany, let's free Brittany. You know, I'm a Brittany fan and I love that chick. I love her from the moment she exploded on the radio airwaves. I gotta tell you, her videos are amazing. She puts so much energy and effort into giving us a wonderful performance and timeless music. Now, she has been in the news about this conservatorship. Her father is the co-conservatorship of her estate worth 60 million U.S. dollars. She has been in this conservatorship for quite some time, since 2009. Imagine he has control over her life to the point where she couldn't even choose the color of her own kitchen counters and cupboards. That's right. Even who she chooses to fall in love with. Now, let's pull some cards. Let's first pull a card on Brittany and how she feels right now. Ah, not bad at all. So, Brittany, you know, she's working on herself. She truly is feeling the inner strength within her building. She has a lot of peace and harmony around her, a lot of support. People who are letting her know that, hey, she's not crazy. She is normal. This is a woman that worked very hard all her life since she was a teenager to give the world such beautiful entertainment like I said performances and everything all she did it for was us and also for her passion now of course Brittany right now she is determined to get her life in order she has been working on herself for a while for five years now she has been with her boyfriend Sam they're ready to get married they're ready to move on and get things in order it's going to take about another three years until she is able to do what she wants to do now Let's get to the next three years, but first let's pull cards on past, present, and future. All right, so here we go. We have the past, the present, and future cards. Let's check out Brittany in the past. All right, so in the past, you know, she felt at peace with herself before she went to the hospital because of everything that was going on in her life. She felt at peace. Her mind was cool. She didn't feel like, you know, people were ostracizing her or people were thinking she was crazy. She felt cool. She felt secure and stable. Okay, that was before. Now the present position, the moon. You see, she is ready to speak out. She spoke out for her rights. And what's interesting is she's not asking for the conservatorship to be taken away. She's just asking for the person that is in control of it to be changed. She wants the person that takes care of her all the time to be able to make decisions for her. Now, it's interesting, you know, she probably knows that she is not prepared to take care of her own estate. It's a lot of money and, you know, she likes to go on vacations and she also doesn't want anyone to take advantage of her because Brittany is very kind with her money. She knows she has a lot of it, but at the same time, she also is aware that a lot of money could go very easily. So right now, she is willing to make changes in her life for a better life. She's willing to call out all of the negativity that is around her and she's willing to dig, dig deep inside of her to take out all of the passion to be able to fight on a grand scale and say, hey, my life is mine and I want to take it back. So that's what she's in the midst of doing right now. She is barking at the moon. She's letting the world know that she wants the, the darkness to be removed and the light to come in. Let's see what the future holds for Brittany. 
Ah, uh, so there's going to be some problems. And I'm not surprised because when she was in court, I think it was respectful that they didn't film her and they wouldn't allow audio to be released into the media either. But it looks like the judge was a little concerned. The judge did ask her twice to calm down, to speak slower, because she was speaking very quickly during her uh, court appearance. And we do know that Brittany does speak very quickly. Sometimes when she gets rolling, she'll just keep talking, and that's fine. She's a Sagittarius, and Sagittarians do get quite heated when they are trying to prove their point. Hey, I'm a Sagittarius, and I am no different than Brittany. Brittany when it comes to expressing myself and also trying to get out everything that is bottled, bottled up. Many people are like that, not just Sagittarians, but many people around the world. So it looks like some people are going to give her a hard time removing the conservatorship. So that means that the judge really does want Brittany to have her life back, but the judge may think that Brittany is not completely equipped to control her own life. You see, she has not really lived the average life. She's a mega superstar. So she doesn't know even what an average life is like. So let's see what the problems are in the last card where it says future, right? The right hand card at the last end. Let's let's look more into that and see what the outcome of that fight is going to be. So Brittany will prevail. She will do very well. She just doesn't want her dad involved in her affairs. She doesn't want to tell her dad everything that she's doing or have to ask for permission for everything that needs to be done. Did you know that her lawyer gets paid $30,000 a month? For what? Yes, so people are taking advantage of her. Everyone around her feeds off her. And you know what? It's a two-edged sword. Brittany doesn't mind sharing her money. She knows that her whole entire family relies on her for her income. But she also realizes that it was her mom and her family that supported her very much in her career when she was just a young girl traveling all around the country with her because they believed in her. So Brittany does want to share the wealth, but she doesn't want to be controlled. And she will win. Her dad will be removed from the conservatorship and someone else will be put in place. It is going to take a while. Let's pull a card on how long it's going to take for the conservative ship to be changed. Now, we do know it's going to take three years before Brittany does eventually get married with Sam and have a child if she so wishes. But let's look at how long this whole court case with the conservatorship is going to last. All right. Well, there's people taking her very seriously right now. She has a lot of support, a lot of friends and family that are rooting for her. And people do want to see her be freed of this prison that she's in. Now, it's going to take about half a year. So you're looking at six to seven months before everything gets figured out. Now, her dad, who's not in the best of health anyway, really shouldn't be in control of her affairs. There should be someone who is a professional, someone who's not going to give in to Brittany's demands if she has any, but someone that's going to be stable minded and care for Brittany with the utmost respect, the utmost respect. Brittany is stable minded. I do read a lot of her posts on Instagram, and she articulates herself very well. In person, she does seem to be a little nervous when she's speaking on a grand scale, but we can't blame her for that. Look what the world did. A lot of people beat that young lady up when she was only very young. Now let's pull a card on Brittany and Sam and how they feel right now. 
Look at this beautiful card. They are comfortable. They're happy. Sam has been taking very good care of Brittany. Brittany has a lot of passion for Sam. And Sam is determined to make sure that the world understands Brittany on a grand scale. They're very much at peace. They have a lot of growth around their relationship. Most of their issues from the past are now being dealt with. And he is ready to move forward with Brittany and have children and get married and be able to live a happy life ever after. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. My name is Sister Cerise. Please take a moment to subscribe for more videos and tarot card predictions on celebrities and people around the world. Have a wonderful day. Huge hugs, loads of love, and big blesses.